and welcome to another Bleistift video. And today I want to show you the special Vic to the limited edition of the Veda Avesa 2020. It's difficult um, to remember, at least for me, that actually this year uh, was supposed to have been the year where the Olympic Games take place in Tokyo. Uh, it didn't happen in the end, obviously, with, with COVID and, and everything. I didn't follow the story that much, but last I heard was that it might happen next year. And I think if it doesn't happen next year, it doesn't happen at all. So special edition here um, from Seed of the Veda Eresa, which first came out in 1968. Now I read in the past that uh, Seed invented the plastic Eresa. And um, yeah, this was the first model that came out. I'm not sure whether that's actually true because somewhere else I read that vinyl erasers came out in the 50s, or were invented in the 50s. So I wasn't able to, to verify this information. So I'll, I'll, I'll mention it, but I don't go into too much detail here. There are all sorts of different versions of the Veda eraser out there. For example, here's a version I showed um, on my blog in the past, made out of a 300-year-old cedar wood. Um, and uh, something interesting to note here is that I think seed might go down the same path as Tombow. You know, the Tombow Mono 100 used to be made in Japan. Now it's made in Vietnam. And if you look here, yeah, this, this one was made in Japan. You might think, oh, it's a posh version, that's why. Uh, but here, this one was made in Japan, whereas these are made in Vietnam as well. Um, yeah, so supposedly, or possibly, the, the, the first plastic eraser before that, there were rubber erasers, yeah, like this one from the same brand. Before rubber erasers, um, people used bread, for example, to erase. Um, interesting point about rubber erasers. Uh, the material is, comes from a tree. And people figured out, you, uh, the inventor figured out that uh, you can use it to erase things. And, and in, in the UK, an eraser is called a rubber. And uh, be because of the rubbing action of an eraser, they call the material rubber. So the material is named after, after the purpose of making it into an, an eraser. Um, yeah, so... I thought I'll share this with you because I just got this um, straight from Japan a few days ago and I thought I'll I'll, I'll show you these um, nice erasers. Okay, thank you very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.